World Humanitarian Day will be observed on Wednesday, August 19. More from Sasha Ramsaran. Wednesday, August 19th will be observed as World Humanitarian Day. World Humanitarian Day is a time to recognize those who face adversity and danger in order to help others. The day was designated by the United Nations UN General Assembly to coincide with the anniversary of the 2003 bombing of the UN headquarters in Iraq. World Humanitarian Day is an opportunity to celebrate the spirit that inspires humanitarian work around the globe, as well as draw attention to humanitarian needs worldwide and the importance of international cooperation in meeting these needs. Anyone can be a humanitarian. People affected by disasters are often the first to help their own. The theme for this year's World Humanitarian Day is Inspiring the World's Humanity. This year, the UN and its humanitarian partners invite all of you to inspire the world's humanity. The theme calls on you to join any of the humanitarian organizations in your area and become an active messenger of humanity. In light of International Humanitarian Day on Wednesday, more emphasis is needed on the area of establishment of humanitarian centers in Guyana. The most recent establishment of such a center is the humanitarian mission of New Jersey Arya Samaj's Seva Sanna House of Service, which was commissioned on Sunday, August 9th at Anchorville Port Mont Quarantine. The importance and role of such projects was highlighted by Mr. Brian Hunt of the U.S. Embassy's Charge D Affairs. The humanitarian mission of New Jersey, Ariasama Mandir, has been doing great work in Guyana since 2005 and has helped thousands of less fortunate people, including victims of gender-based violence, orphans, and differently abled citizens. Your organization's decision to establish this center here in Berbice provides people outside the capital city of Georgetown with a warm, friendly place to go for skills development training, counseling, and other social services for the youth and seniors of this great nation. The United States Embassy stands together with you today and in the future as we try to break the cycle of poverty through empowerment and education. Our mutually beneficial goal is to reduce youth crime and violence and we train young people to employers and economic opportunity. We know that governments cannot solve all problems pervasive in today's societies. It takes a combination of private and corporate charitable giving and non-governmental organizations partnering with governments in order to accomplish this goal. Civil society has a critical role to play in addressing social ills affecting our communities and that is why we're all here today. We know and hear about the large global organizations and the funding that they provide in the areas of global health, financial services for the poor, and the work that they do to eliminate hunger and poverty. The work of the large organizations is nothing short of extraordinary, but when we focus on those organizations making a difference at the community level, we turn to organizations like the Humanitarian Mission of New Jersey and individuals like like the Panda here for the outstanding work that they do in trying to bring about grassroots involvement by citizens in the United States, by people here in Guyana, in order to make a difference at the community level. The inherent value of building strong, close-knit communities where citizens work together to build a brighter future should be self-evident to all of us. Humanitarian works in Guyana and worldwide are aimed primarily at improving the lives of the people that it will influence. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.